Hello everyone, my name is Alex and I'm solving technical interview questions here from LeetCode in JavaScript to help you and myself for the upcoming interview questions. So I have tons of videos already on my channel, you can check them out and then let me know down in the comments below which problem do you want me to solve next. So here we have 1572 matrix diagonal sum. It's a really good problem to know, it's like a kind of like a beginner's matrix problem but it's good to know if you have to deal with the 2D matrices during the interview. So let's read the problem question first. Given a square matrix MAT, return the sum of matrix diagonals. Only include the sum of all elements on the primary diagonal and all of the elements on the secondary diagonal that is not part of the primary diagonal. So let's say here we have a matrix 1, 5, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the primary diagonal will be 1, 5, and 9. It's equal 15. And then 7, 5, and 3, it's also 15. So it's 30. But then we have to exclude 5. So here's the question. Uh, here's the explanation. So matrix 1, 2, 3, 4 through 9, output 25. Diagonal sum 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 3 plus 7 is 25. Notice that element 1, 1 is only 5, is only counted once. So how can we do it? So usually we do a for loop, two for loops, and then we loop through the matrix and, deter you know, and determine their um, diagonal sum. So we'll take 1 on the first iteration, then 5 and 9, and then we go through 7, 5, 3, we add them up and see if then uh, first array is odd, we actually exclude this five. So let's uh, look at the code and hopefully it will clarify how to do it better. Okay, so first we create this variable, we call it length. And then we take the length of the matrix, we say, uh, let's say matrix dot length minus one. And then we have to keep some variable called sum, you know, that will just keep track of our, um, you know, some variable. And then we create a for loop. We say for let i equal zero. So the regular for loop i is less than i is less than matrix dot length i plus plus i plus plus. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna say sum plus equals two. How can we get zero on the next iteration? Five and nine. And it's pretty simple. We say matrix i and i and look what happens it's going to be zero zero first element zero one one second element two two second uh, third element and that's exactly what we need one five nine plus what we need to do plus we need to get seven five and three how can we do it we can do it by simply saying matrix i so it's zeroth element and length minus i so let's see how it works. So at first iteration, we have 0, 2, it's 3. Then we have 0, 2 minus 1, it's 1, 1, 1. And then the third iteration, we have 2, 2 minus 0, it's 0, it's 2, 0 elements. So that's what we get 3, it says 0. So index of 3, index of 3 is 0, 2. Index of 5, it's 1, 1. And index of 7, it's two, zero. And that's exactly what we're getting, uh, two, zero. That's exactly what we're getting by using i, zero, one, two, and then length, which is, starts with two. And then we decrement it by minus one, uh, by minus i, sorry. So i is zero. So two minus zero, two minus one, two minus two. And that's how we get 0, 2, 1, 1, and 0, 2. Okay, so after that, we have to basically, we get 30, right? So after this loop, our sum variable will equal to 30. It goes through the matrix. It's at 1, 5, 9. And how does it do it? It's going to be 0, 0, 1, 1, and then 2, uh, sorry, 2, 2. So that's how it gets one, five, nine, and then it goes zero, two, it's gonna be three, five, seven. So we get 30, but then we actually, we count in five double. So how can we check it? We say if statement, if length modulo two, so if two divided by two, triple equals to zero. So if it's odd length, I mean, it's even length, what do we have to do? We say sum minus plus, so we delete from the sum, matrix and then what what is the element as element is one one how can we get one one we can do length divided by two and then again length divided by two 
So it's going to be 2 divided by 2, 1, 1. And then we ex get the variable 1, 1, which is 5. 1, 1 is 5. And we decremate it from the sum. And then at the end, we return, return sum. Okay, let's submit it and see how we've done it. Let's submit. Okay, we got 7 in speed and 97 in space. So this is how you solve 1572 matrix diagonal sum. Let me know what you think in comments below. And then let me know what else you want me to do. Thank you.